In this video, we are taking you to one of the local farmers markets in Belgrade. This one is a bit bigger than the one that we have near our place and offers better options. It's July now, which means it's time for all sorts of berries and fruits and of course nice and fresh veggies right from Serbian farms. And it's obvious that many people are curious about prices in different countries and cities and would like to know what is actually available around. This time we were a little bit surprised about how random the prices for potatoes were, for example. Since this favorite diet is a potato diet, we buy them pretty often. So here at the market there are different kinds of it and different sizes. And the prices seem to depend on the vendor, not just on the kind and size of potatoes. Here at the market you can find not just fruits and veggies sections, but also house and garden plants, like this olive tree, garden flowers, unexpectedly bump into a flea market mixed up with secondhand toys, clothes and shoes, or even a retro wine storage box. Jewelry has pretty big success here. Carpets, underwear, more clothes, everything you can and cannot imagine. As we both grew up in a countryside, we were curious to check out the plant -like section, trying to remember which is which. And of course, I found my favorite basil. I have a look how peanuts are called in Serbian. Kikiriki. <laughs> this is the cutest word by far. Yes, it is. Right now the market is full of raspberries, blueberries and blackberries. You can even smell the rich berry aroma while walking along the counters. Okay, here we suddenly thought why not trying the blackberries right at the market. Mine was good actually and Win wasn't happy about his. Okay, second attempt. Oh yeah, approved. What a funny thing. Tomatoes here called call paradise. Yeah. Paradise. Dobar dan. How much is that? Uh, here for the raspberries and blueberries, both half kilo, we paid 550 dinars. 250 dinars for blueberries and 300 for raspberries. All fruits and veggies look nice and fresh, like they were brought here straight from the garden or picked up just recently. 
If you want to try something out right at the counter, feel free to ask farmers for samples. They are super nice and friendly and always ready to provide you with some pieces. Locals told us that Serbia is known for its organic farming, so no doubt such farmers markets is the best and easiest option to get decent products to your table. We continued browsing through the market and exploring what else we can find. We didn't have any specific shopping list that day, uh, more just wanted to see what's there. And certainly we couldn't resist getting some berries because the aroma was so good and it was impossible to pass by all those colorful counters. Being a fan of different sorts of nuts, I couldn't skip that part. My conclusion is that prices are pretty good and I definitely gonna stick to farmers markets with them. Cause for some reason in supermarkets it's nearly impossible to find unsalted nuts. So here at the market they have exactly what I want. Okay, and finally we reached the fishmongers. I'm not an expert in this field, but it looks like trout, sea bass, calamari, shrimps and a couple more sorts of fish we couldn't recognize. On the opposite side there was another counter where you could buy raw fish by weight and they even had better choice. But also these guys were selling already grilled and baked fish that looked really good. And we decided to visit one more store where everything was mostly frozen. And the last one, let's have a quick look at the butcher store here. The meat itself looked pretty good, but I suppose because of heat outside the smell there wasn't really pleasant, so we escaped too quickly. Okay, next up. Potatoes for you. So I guess the price is... Well, it's cheaper here because for 150 they have the big one, like big potatoes. And uh, in supermarkets they have smaller one or just random. In middle you can say find the same size for 140. Really? Yeah. Okay. Same size. Okay, okay. That's why it's kind of it's what too expensive to me. Okay. So my conclusion is that the prices on seasonal stuff are definitely better comparing to supermarkets. For the rest, there is no much difference. Well, when we were leaving Turkey, this one was like something like that, actually. I believe the main point of going to a farmer's market is the quality of the food you get. 
However, someone was slightly upset about potatoes. So, well, a bit disappointing. Prices are high even on, on the market. 